So here we are back in my kitchen, keto naturopath kitchen, and today I'm still on the summertime theme and I made coleslaw a while ago, but today I'm making keto potato salad. No, there are no potatoes in the potato salad. And I'm doing it with radishes, red radishes, and cauliflower. So I have this steamer that we used to use all the time when we used to be mostly vegetarian. And I probably haven't used this in eight years since we've been keto. So I had to wash it out this morning just so that it would be clean. But I don't even know if they sell these steamers anymore, but we're going to, I will look. And if they do, I'll put a link to it because it really is good for veggies. We just don't eat a lot of veggies. You could boil the radishes and the cauliflower, but I thought this was going to be easier. So I'm just going to put the radishes in whole. And that, that was 16 ounces of radishes. And we'll cut them up as needed once they're done. This is fresh cauliflower. I actually prefer frozen cauliflower, but I couldn't find any. They had plenty of cauliflower rice mashed cauliflower, but no cauliflower flowerettes. So I had to buy fresh. So these may take a little longer to cook, but I'm going to um, steam these for about 20 minutes. I will test them and if they're cooked, I'll let them just sit for enough and drain for five or 10 minutes. So we'll be back in about a half hour. Well, the cauliflower and the radishes are cooked. It took way longer than I thought it would take in the steamer. So I would suggest boiling them, boil them till tender and then drain them well. So we're gonna start off by making the dressing. So in each bowl, I have 120 grams of mayonnaise, my own homemade mayonnaise, um, which is about a half a cup. And to that, we're going to add, this is dill relish. There's no sugar in it. The brand is Mount Olive. It says it's local, so it might just be a North Carolina one, but look for dill relish with no sugar. It's hard to find. Or cut up some dill pickles. Now I'm just gonna put in about a tablespoon. This is heaping tablespoon, by the way in each bowl, 25 grams of diced onion, which is about one to two tablespoons, a tablespoon of mustard. I use Dijon mustard. Look for mustard with no sugar. I used to use Grey Poupon mustard until I read the ingredients and it has sugar in it. This is just a local food lion, local brand, and it has no sugar. So make sure you read the ingredients. That looks like a tablespoon. To that we add a tablespoon of vinegar. A little bit of salt, uh, maybe half a teaspoon maybe. And you can always uh, check the salt and pepper after to see if it's enough and about a teaspoon or less of pepper. You can add fresh dill if you want, but since I have these, this dill relish, I didn't feel that I needed to add dill to it. So I'm just gonna mix this up. hard-boiled eggs for each one. You don't have to have hard-boiled eggs. We always put hard-boiled eggs in our potato salad and that's how I like it. So I'm adding hard-boiled eggs. Potato salad used to be my favorite part of all cookouts and family gatherings. My sister used to make it really well and then I had a cousin hurt my a cousin who like cooked amazingly so I would load up on potato salad pre-keto of course and that was actually pre-carl so I was I was a lot younger then stir that in 
And now I'll get the radishes. So I, bought, I, I cooked them without trimming them because I knew I could just do it now. I'm Depending on the size, I'm just going to cut them into fours, about the size of a slice of potato. Well, I'll show you that, and then I'll show you how I do the cauliflower, and then you don't have to watch me do it all. So this is the cauliflower, and again, I'm just I'm going to cut that into uh, about the size of what a potato would be. And I'm not just going to do the florets, but the stems as well. Now I'll continue cutting the cauliflower and the radishes, and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So I finished cutting up the cauliflower and the radishes. What I want to emphasize is to boil them and cook them till they're soft. These are a little too hard, but I steamed them for over an hour. Um, the radishes will lose the red color the more you cook them and will look more like potato salad. And I actually prefer the radishes to the cauliflower, but this is it, cauliflower and radish keto potato salad. So now I get to try it. First the radish, get some onion in. Mm. Mm. You're gonna say, but I hate radishes. They have this hot aftertaste to them. Boiled, they don't. Try it. Just trust me and try it. Now for the cauliflower. Mm. Not bad. I like them both. Try them to see which one you like better. Make them both. Take them both to your cookouts and barbecues. And you don't have to say, hey, this is keto. Just say, this is a no potato potato salad. And everyone will love it. Just don't say it's keto and they'll like it. So enjoy.